Да? So, looking at my window, am I on? Yeah, hey, hello everybody. I'm Wolfgang Tremmel and I'm chairing this next session. With me is Florian Schiedel and he will talk about how to start in this industry. And I guess uh, that's quite interesting, especially for the number of students who are here. What's your first day, how you get started and uh, how to make your way in the internet industry. Florian, you have the stage. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank um, for the opportunity to be here. And maybe someone has been wondering what the reason is for this talk. And most of us has a day one at his career and has to find his way to manage the new experience, task, and processes. And that's exactly what this talk aimed at. And I just want to shed light on the entry of a career starter. And I want to show you with this um, talk how my start was with my new employee. And in addition, I want to give like-minded people an insight into how the start as a career starter was and possibly the fear of taking a big step. And before we start with the talk, here are some facts um, from me. Um, who am I? Um, my name is Florian Schiedel. I work as a network engineer in the network operation department at Annexia. I am based in Vienna. And um, I mentioned the big step. And yes, this was for me a big step because um, before I traveled to Vienna, I was based in, in Berlin. And here yeah, I successfully complete my traineeship as a IT specialist for system integration in January this year. And I worked previously for a city provider in Berlin. And one of mm, the biggest thing in my in my free time is American football. And yeah, so let's start with the talk. Um, I thought we start with my first day and I think my first day was equal to everyone other first day. I've met the new colleagues just virtual in this situation and I've got my login data to all system tools and et cetera, I have to change it. Um, I think you know you know what what I have to done and yeah the first few days I start on a Thursday and I spent the first days to reading our internal document documentation to taking notes and asking colleagues question and yeah you've got the you have seen the presentation from from Tier about our uh, um, location upgrades and while I'm browsing our documentation, and I found this documentation in, in our internal documentation tool, and um, I thought it was a good idea to to read it and to to look at this because I just uh, think, okay, that's interesting. So you can read it this for maybe one or two hours, but um, yeah, one working day later, I. I was finished with with our documentation and um, yeah why why I'm telling this um, because um, I thought it's it's uh, not easy to figure out what what is the right documentation or what is the the first step okay so what's important for the few few days and yeah it was important because it's a big topic and uh, but it was very 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 many stuff to read and. Yeah, so on Friday, um, I take the opportunity to ask one of my colleagues, hey, do you have some time for me? I've got some question about our documentation about the um, upgrades of our location. And yeah, he, he took this time and um, I asked all my question. And after this session, um, I had many question marks uh, flying around on my head. And yeah, with this uh, feeling, I. Um, go. I went into the first weekend, and I have a lot of time to think about all the new input. And yeah, after after my first weekend, I start into the first full week. And yeah, so as you can imagine, an, a normal onboarding 
in the office was not possible in this situation we are at the moment and all, all the workshop that the main topic of my first week um, was carried out on virtuality and um, here I should get a feeling for our tools and learn to use them. Um, these workshops should also bring the contact to the, co to the colleagues a little bit closer and yeah, the topics um, is once a very variety of topics and during these workshops I took many of notes and asked questions when everything was unclear. So um, I thought on Wednesday, in my first week, um, my team leads came to me and they say, Florian, we have, we have a project for you. And yeah, so I have the workshops and my first project. And I know maybe the, this task, uh, yeah, so the, the first task was the documentation. Um, so I have to document a selection of location and to create the topology and so that we can can see on one view how our locations are connected the devices are connected and so that we can um, see on one on one um, view uh, what happened on, on this location and i know it's, it's just uh, uh, um, a big thing so with the documentation but i have to say um, and this part of, of the beginning is, is was very good that I got this task because um, so I got a few in the fast overview um, over our network. Um, and um, I can I can see um, how we operate our network and how the standard we live is to be implemented. Yeah, so um, another big, big task uh, when you start in for a new employee is how did I integrate to the team? And of course, everyone who is new in a team would like to integrate in this team and find a connection. And of course you want to support them um, with your knowledge and your person. Um, and you would like to manage the work, the day of day to day work um, together. So as you can see, I wrote down four points um, and as you can see, there are two points that obviously don't fit, and I can. It could be uh, point one and four. Well, of course, I'm just joking. Um, yes, point two and, and three. And in, in the beginning, I, I looked over the shoulder of my my colleagues um, on certain tasks and showed myself how to proceed. Um, I also asked colleagues if if I couldn't support them. And here received small task for the beginning. Um, for example, one of my colleagues um, gave me the task task um, to exchange some hardware on one of our locations, and it was good to take this this task um, because um, it helps me to get in touch with with our day day to day work. And here I have contact with the data centers. Um, I get in touch with the portals or emails and whatever the data center are using the communication. Um, yeah, and so um, I could get an um, overview about the day-to-day -day business. And yes, uh, the most most helpful thing in this in this task was our documentation tool Netbox and. Uh, it was a great help, but the documentation of the locations um, was made and um, that we had a quick overview of the hardware connections of devices and the carrier lines that they are on this location. And I could um, create a remote hand sheet for the, for the engineers at the location. So they, uh, they know about the location of the of the server at the rec unit and which rec and so on and it was a great help in, in this case and yeah so I just uh, get in contact with the colleagues ask ask them for for task and ask question about OK, 
Okay, I think we lost the sound. Florian? Florian, you're on mute. Please unmute yourself. Yes, I'm on mute. Okay. Okay, you're back. Okay. Um, so it, uh, it was great to see in the netbox um, how we um, manage them and I can create a remote hands sheet for the engineers at the location. So they have all the information about the task um, in the mail or in the portal and we can manage the task um, very fast. And yeah, so let's go to the to the next slide. Um, so I have no remotes. Yes, thank you, Wolfgang. Um, Troubleshoot. Uh, everyone knows this troubleshoot is one of the biggest, one of the biggest part in in our job. And um, after two weeks, I've I've got my first customer ticket. Um, the customer describes some packet loss from Europe to Asia, and so I look at the connection between the two location via an MTR and saw there were a few problems here, and I contact the carrier and got some quickly answer. Um, that there are some um, undersea cable problems um, on this line. And if you all imagine that this task will be not in a, um, ready for one hour or everything else. And so we have to manage this problem. And I took to a colleague and asked him, hey, here's some problem with this line. And so if you um, so what, what can we do? And uh, he told me, okay, you can change the routing. Um, so we did it. And so we changed the routing from Asia over America to Europe. I know it's not the best, best uh, construction, but um, it works and the customer has no disadvantage. And after the, the line was fixed from the carrier, we changed the routing back and everything was well. And yeah, so that's to the topic packet loss. And I've got one more um, example to the routing problem. Another um, ticket came in and the customer describes, hey, um, I see some, some routing problems. Uh, we cannot reach our services. So um, in this case, I use an MTR2 and um, I can see that there was an layer three um, loop and of course I saw a layer two loop um, as well in, in the in the traineeship. So we create one in the lab, but the layer three loop was new for me and uh, was a little bit exciting to see that the packets are uh, going in a loop. But for the customers, was not very well. So in this case, we wrote to the carrier again and told them the problem and. At the end, uh, he told us he has a misconfiguration on his, on his side. And yeah, so after he fixed it, we can um, solve this problem. So, so I came to the end of my presentation and um, it's, it's a summary. Um, Wolfgang, could you please maybe switch to the, thank you very much. Um, my summary is ask too much rather than too little. Um, and stupid question are only though they are not asked it. Um, thank you very much, Momo, for this statement. And at the beginning, take your time and deal with all new impressions. Um, the learning curve is very high at the beginning and even now for me. So, and one of the most parts and where I learned um, the most is take a topic you haven't heard of yet. And yeah, good luck and, and you'll start in your career and if you have any question please free to ask thank you very much thank you florian i've got a couple of questions from the chat and also one question of my own so uh, julian lannert from the chat asks do you work remotely from germany or did you move for the job um julian thank you very much for the question i moved for the job from Germany to Austria. 
All right. And are you working remotely or are you working from the office? I am working at the moment remotely. Okay. How, how, how hard was that getting into the team working remotely? Because a lot of people, and this is also a question from Julian and also a question of my own, because uh, we all value the chat at the coffee machine. You learn a lot of things when you go just for a coffee and meet someone and ask a colleague, what are you doing today and what's going on and so on. And how, how hard was that getting into a new job without the coffee machine chat? So it's what's not really hard because um, we are get in touch every day um, via calls uh, or chat messages. So I have every day contact to the colleagues and yes, it's, it's not the same. So, but it's, it was, it's what not very hard. Okay. A couple of more questions. I have one from Marco Hegenberg and he asks, how did you find your current position? Did you also consider other opportunities? Um, okay, so um, uh, I don't know really what the point of the question is. Um, could you please? Well, he asked it? basically, did you did you hear from the? Uh, did you see it on Monster or did you? Ah, okay, I'm from? sorry. Um, um, uh, it's it was just uh, in German we say vitamin B. I I know Theo from and uh, Stefan. From the team leads um, from from the community, and so I ask ask him um, if they have any any free space for new employees. Okay, and I have uh, another question of uh, someone who wants to remain anonymous, and he asks, "Did you feel it more difficult to gain the trust of superiors compared to face to face in the office?" Um, no, I don't think um, I have um, um, I have contact to superiors, and um, I thought it's it's important that my, that we have uh, a contact. Uh, so in in the beginning, I have every day, uh, every day, every week, uh, every week on one day, I to talk to my superior to where he asked me, okay, how do you feel? It's it's all good or do you need anything? So I thought that was was an important, uh, important thing in the beginning. Okay, and the last question is uh, from Simon Pollack and he asks, so you moved for the job and didn't work before as a network engineer with a question mark and sounds like a huge step. Um, what gave you the confidence to do so, and did you have uh, did you have a plan B or? Um, okay, thank you very much for the question, Simon. Um, yeah, um, I have no really experience as a network engineer, and I um, it was an open conversation, and um, um, it was to see, okay, I'm 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 f a freshman in the career start and. Here I saw when when you get the, the day and day work as as I mentioned in the in the um, talk um, you find your way in the um, in the way um, in the work and I've got some input during my traineeship um, with the network with the network thing so um, I had a little bit experience from from the traineeship and yeah. Okay, I think uh, question queue is now closed. And Florian, thank you very much for this presentation. I think it was much. really helpful, especially uh, if new people want to join the industry, what to expect. As we all said, we are an open branch. We are all very friendly, uh, but all this technical talk can perhaps makes it for new people a little bit difficult. But uh, as I said, Thanks for sharing your experience with us. And with that, I would like to hand over to the next presenter. Thank you, Florian. See you around, Thank perhaps you in person here. at the next conference.